So I've been made aware of a couple of bugs that has appeared after we updated our inventory to part 6. So um, this part of the inventory tool is just about fixing those uh, two bugs that I, I got a bug report on. So the first bug has something to do with when you pick up a lot of items here and you store them in your um, chest. Because when you pick up all these items here and you move them to the chest, well, then there's never freed any backspace in our inventory. So let's see if we go to our chest here and we pick up a sword, for example, and put it into the chest. Well, then I'm not able to pick up any more items. And the reason that I'm not able to pick up any more items is because that when I move something around like this, well, then I'm not able to free up any space in my inventory. The only time we are freeing up space in the inventory is when we either uh, right click on an item to use it, like this, or if we pick up an item and place it outside the inventory to drop it on the ground. So basically we need to figure out how to um, increase the amount of empty slots in our inventory when we take something and pick it up and place it somewhere else. And the same goes from our um, chest here. Whenever we would, if we would fill this one up and move everything thing over to our um, our normal inventory, well then the spaces inside this inventory here will never be um, freed. So to fix this little issue, we need to open up our scripts, and the script that we need to look on at is our slot script, because right now we are not clearing or adding an amount of empty slots. What happens when we uh, open up our inventory and we put pick something up, and we click out here in mid mirror or click somewhere else in the inventory? The thing that is happening here is that we are calling a function called clear slot, and clear slot may actually takes the item that is in the slot already and clears it away and moves it to the other place here. So basically, what we can do is that we can open up our um, our script. And we can go to the function called clear item inside slot. Okay, clear slot, it's called not item. Here we go. And in here, this function is called every time we move something from one place to another, which means it would be a good place to uh, make sure that our amount of empty slots gets increased. Because the problem is that whenever we pick up everything uh, in here, as I just explained before, when we pick up everything like this, well, then. Um, when we pick up something new, it, it looks at how many empty slots do we have in the uh, inventory. Well, if we don't have any empty slots, then we're not going to pick anything up. And if I do like this, well, then I don't increase my amount of empty slots. So it still looks like that all these slots here are taken, even though there's an empty one here. So what we have to do is that when we call clear slot, we also have to add an amount of empty um, empty slots. And all our inventories, if we run this code, we'll see that, uh, not in full screen, just like this, we'll see that on our canvas we have an inventory and here is all our slots. And each slot is uh, a child object of an inventory, which means that we can access the inventory um, through the parent. So we have to say transform the parent to access the inventory and then we need to access the inventory script on the parent here. So we need to say get component inventory. And then we need to make a dot here because when we are inside the inventory, let's open up the script here, we'll see that up here, we actually, not inventory script, but my item script inventory, here we go. So up under variables, we'll see that we have this variable called empty slots. And this is the one we have to increase because every time we look uh, we try to put something in inventory, we are looking at empty slots. So we have to say dot empty slots plus plus to increase the amount of empty slots. So with that in place, we can go back to our inventory script because up here in update, um, let's see if we can find it empty. If I could spell. There we go. So in update, under update, when we click outside the inventory at some point, we are increasing the amount of empty slots, which is when I'm uh, picking up an item. See, now I just it changed the code so I get some null references. If I pick up an item and do like this, 
will then increase the amount of empty slots. And this is what this code does here. But the thing is that we are calling clear slot right here. And before we just wrote the code in here in clear slot to increase the amount of empty slots. So we can actually go back to our inventory and delete this empty slots here. And we're not increasing empty slots anywhere else. It plays empty, it's fine. Yep. So now we have built in that functionality inside the slot itself. So it makes sure that when we move something from the slot, well, then we also increase the amount of empty slots. And clear slot is also called when I pick up an item and I move it to another place, for example, in and in another inventory like a chest. So let's try to pick up some different items here. Just fill up the inventory. I could stop getting potions. Yes. So if I take all my items here and throw them in my inventory, like this, then I should still be able to pick up these. And as you can see, I can keep picking up items even though I, I'm moving something to my uh, inventory now. There we go. So the next box has something to do with um, picking up or dropping items on the ground or picking up new items and they will just disappear if um, if you have your inventory full. Let's see, I can try to pick up lots of items here. Go. And then I'm going to drop a sword and I'm going to go and pick up a new item. Now I have a helmet. And if I want to try to pick up the sword here, the sword will just disappear from my game. So we need to figure out some functionality so that when I run into my sword and my inventory is full, well then I'm simply not uh, going to pick up the sword. So it just stays on the ground. Because that can be a bit problematic if you have a game and your inventory is full and you see an item you want to pick up and then suddenly all the items are gone. So uh, we need to figure out what how to fix that. And to fix that we can jump into our player script. Because it's in here we are actually picking up all our items. So before we start making the fix, we can actually also clean up inside this uh, function here. It's kind of messy, and when I made this, I just copy paste the stuff instead of making it more uh, clean and better. So what I'm going to do right now is not going to change the functionality at all. It's just going to clean up in the code. Um, so if you want to do that, you can also do that with me. Because as you can see here, we are destroying temporary everywhere here, which means that we can actually take temp and move it out here and then delete it from all these places. Okay, because if we're doing something, if you're doing exactly the same action everywhere in every case, well then we can actually just move it out after the cases to get less code. So what else are we doing? We are adding an item to every single, um, to, to um, item inventory in every single case. So we can take one of them, let's take equipment here, cut it, and then paste it down here. Now, now I cut white space, go paste it here which means we can also delete these and this one. Um, just cut this one so we have the comment. So as you can see now, it's, it's complaining that we don't have new equipment. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take new equipment here, cut it, and then paste it up here outside the switch case. So the reason that it was complaining down here that we don't have new equipment is because that new equipment was defined inside this scope here. And when you define something inside a scope, well, then you can't go out to the next scope. So now we define new equipment outside the scope here so that we can reach it down here. Okay, so new equipment item manager. We're going to find a random item here, and we're going to find random here. So temporary add component item script is also done in all cases. So we can move that up here as well. And let's just take the comment here, paste it up, which means we can delete it here and we can delete it here. So now case 2 looks way smaller and this is all we need in our cases. So we can delete new weapon and we can delete new consumable. So now we have new weapon here and new consumable which has a squeeze effect line. So we can just take new equipment, copy it and paste it in both places. And maybe instead of calling new equipment, we could press F2 up here and call it new item. So we rename it to new item all places. 
So let's try to save this and see if we can still pick up items. And we have a preference exception. Let's see what we did wrong. Yeah, okay, we of course never adding our um, component. I was a little faster um, to delete some things. So up here we are saying uh, add component, sorry. Um, but here we are saying get component. So we need to switch these around because we can't get the component before we have added the component, of course. So let's save and try one more time. And now we can pick up our items exactly the same way as before. And as you can see, they still have everything on them. So now we just uh, cleaned up a little. So the next thing we should do is to fix the bug, the actual bug. And the bug could actually be fixed uh, down here. Because um, right now, when we collision enter on an item, we simply just try to add it to the inventory. And then we destroy it right away when we're done with this. And we're actually not interested in that. We want to destroy it if this up here was possible. And actually, when I made this uh, function here, we, I already made the functionality for figuring out if this was possible or not. Because if we go to add item here, if we go to definition, add item inside the inventory script, you'll see that it returns a bool, which means it returns true if the function, if it, we manage to. Um, to add something to the to to the inventory, and down here it returns false if we didn't, which means that if we return false, well then we don't need to destroy the item because it wasn't possible for us to pick it up. So right now we're just destroying no matter what. So we can actually just make an if statement here. That's it if, and then put this whole expression inside this if statement, and then say destroy. So what this means is that when this function here called um, when this function inventory dot add item, if it returns uh, true, if all this was possible and we return true, well then we know that we added the item to the inventory, which means that it's okay for us to destroy the item that was laying on the ground. But if we jump in here and we manage to run through our whole inventory and we weren't able to place it and we try to place it. Uh, check if it's an empty slot and we can't place it there. Well, then return return false because the inventory is actually full, and we are not going to destroy it. So we're going to skip this if statement in here, the execution in here. So it still doesn't work totally because we need to do one more thing up here. We are just checking if item dot item size max size is one. Well, then we try to place empty, and if we go in here, place empty also returns true if it was possible for us to uh, place the item and returns false. So this means that if um, right now, if we go to our add item and we go up here, well then we return true here, even though place I empty returned false. <coughs> so if our inventory is full and we try to pick up a sword and sword is max size is one, then we will try to place empty. Um, yeah, we would try to, to place empty. And when we do that, if we go here. Uh, if I could. Oh, yes. So if I would um, try to place empty, well, then it will return true or false. It would return false in this uh, case because there was no more place. But we are not using that return value for anything. So we're just returning true after here. So our. Uh, player thinks that uh, the item was added to the inventory, that it was okay to add it, so we're going to destroy the item on the ground. So to fix this, we're simply going to say return place empty, just like this. So place empty returns false, and add item uh, as a place empty returns false to add item, and add item returns false to the player which knows if it, we should destroy it or not. I hope this makes sense. Else, just ask in the comments and I'll explain it better. So if we go in here and run our game and we can pick up a couple of items here. Let's try fill up our inventory. If we could get something else. There we go. So if I drop all my 
I just not drop the potions, just drop the head here. So if I drop all these and I try to pick this one up, then I'm still able to pick them up now, as you can see. So if I just fill up my inventory and try to pick this one up, now I can't pick it up anymore. So now you can actually drop all your items on the ground or kill a monster or something and all your things drop and then you fill up your inventory and then you won't pick up all those items on the ground because right now it's it's checking the inventory if it's it's full or not before it tries to pick them up so if I would say and throw this one out and this one out then I can pick both these items up so that was a fix for those two bugs um, if you have more bugs or any fixes or something you would like to see then just post a comment I'll try to make a movie about it as soon as possible so again Thanks for watching and thanks for reporting the bugs and everything.